Bye. <laughs> There's a little fish in there. Pup fish. Pup fish. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry, 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 Death Valley is the hottest <laughs> and driest place in North America. Less than two inches of rain fall in an average year in summer temperatures of 110.20 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 degrees Celsius are common. What a pleasant surprise to find water flowing on the surface. Smell the water. Does it remind you of the ocean? Listen for the sound of running water because there is water. There is more life in places. The Death Valley. We should jump in the water and start crushing fish. Why would we do such a thing? Because it would be fun to destroy nature. We're the dominant species. We're the dominant species. Says the guy that got bit by a fire ant. Yeah, I got bit by a fire. They want to cure us. Look like more puppies. Yeah, we don't have to go all the way to the end. They want to. <laughs> Why? It's the it's the end. Really. Are you serious? Yes. That wasn't a mile. <laughs> I don't know if it was a mile or not. I guessed. And then you guessed 1.2 miles. I know, I guessed strange amounts. Yes. <laughs> oh wow, there's a bunch of them right there. Where right are you pointing? the crossroads. <laughs> the crossroads. Oh yes. Can't really see this in there. See, these are pup fish. This creek here is really, really salty. And these pupfish are the only thing that really lives in it. Like the narrator said earlier. <laughs> but since they're pupfish, there's other life nearby that feed off of them. And so it begins the circle of life. Why are you filming me? Because you keep. Are you going to narrate this one? Yes. What kind of plants and animals lived in and around this ancient lake? Were there humans here? Fossils found in the old lake sediments help us reconstruct that environment. Junipers covered in the mountains and extensive marshland surrounded in the lake. You, your heart's not in it. Large populations of water birds visited the lake and mammals such as camels, mastodons, and saber-toothed tigers may have lived here. What happened to this life as the lake grew smaller and saltier? What happened indeed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened, indeed? A lizard. Or a little plastic toy. He's posing for the camera. He 
He moves like he's claymation. Yeah. My feet are probably getting sunburned. I forgot to put sunscreen on my feet because I was wearing sneakers before. This is the dry salt creek. So this is all the salt. Yes, I'm very intelligent. I think this whole area used to be a lake and then it dried up. You think of that theory yourself? Yes, <laughs> yes I did. It's a good theory. <laughs> That's why I'm a scientist. <laughs> salt Creek is about as salty as the ocean. This is a toxic environment for most freshwater creatures. The gradual change from a freshwater lake to a salt creek was still a drastic one, and most of the animals disappeared. Birds stopped coming, mammals disappeared, and frogs and most of the fish died. A few organisms adapted to the salt and are still here today. Only one kind of fish survived, the salt creep pupfish. Hmm. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Say that again, Jim. What'd you say? I said, excuse me. Because the ground farted. Uh, Did you just fart? Was that the sign of farting relief? Shut up, you're talking about farts I'm recording here. <laughs> That's what iMovie's for. No, it's not. It's not. Somebody was four-wheeling in the pupfish land. Is that what that is? I don't know. I think it's one of those giant pupfish again. That was, see, right about there is where it evolved the legs, and then you can uh, see the footprints. Two. Oh. Have you seen any insects in the water? Some freshwater species have adapted to salty water. You can find small beetles, water boatmen, and fly larvae on things that look like little sticks moving along the bottom of the caddisfly larvae. When they emerge from the water, they will look like moths. Insects are an important source of protein for the pupfish. Are Yay, an important protein. Source of protein. Yay. <laughs> okay. Ahem. Only a few kinds of land plants can survive here in this salty soil. The two most common are salt grass and pickleweed. They are not well adapted to the harsh art blah, 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 of the desert and cannot survive without abundant water. Unlike Aridity. most plants, shut up. Unlike most plants, they can tolerate salty oil. Soil. <laughs> Have you seen any birds, mammals, or reptiles? Most animals are shy and may are and many are nocturnal. That means they're night creatures. <laughs> but they do leave tracks here in the soft sand. Here Coyotes hunt for birds and rodents. Raven, killdeer, and great blue herons hunt, in the, hunt the pupfish. Lizards eat insects, and snakes eat the lizards. All this life depends on the water in, in Salt, Salt Creek. Creek. Indeed. Indeed. I hear a bird. Don't see it. Oh, oh I see it. <laughs> oh, not again. Well, I don't know where it went. Huh? Well, I don't know where it went. I, I do. It's oh, right yeah. there. Do you see it? Mm hmm Not close enough to know what kind it is. No. It's, a, it's an eagle. But it had an interesting whistle. It went... It's a bald eagle. Yes. Tell the people on camera that it's a bald eagle because they won't know the difference. Okay. Erase me telling you to tell them it's a bald eagle. <laughs> Right now. The raptors. They were right here. here they just weird. tried to kill us. Yes. Those little the lizards. The They're like attacking them. us. Yeah. Don't know where they went now. Guess they were afraid of Jim. Yes. 
closers. I don't care anymore. Well, they were scary.